What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about the MCU Spider-Man 4 that we know is going to be upcoming at some point when things get put into order and they actually have a cast assembled and they have everything ready to go and we get our fourth Tom Holland centered Spider-Man movie, I I hope. So this is a recent small update that came out from the Ankler uh and this is from one of the writers at the Ankler, Jeff, Jeff Sneeder. I uh, gave an update on Sony's future plans with the Spider-Man character and I guess what they're go what they're looking at going forward uh, and the status, I guess, mostly of Tom Holland. So he said that, OK, so Sony may not have the biggest bench in terms of franchises, but it wisely made a deal with Marvel Studios to get its marquee character Spider-Man into the MCU, which helped make the studio solo Spider Spidey movies must see even more so and while plans are in motion for another spidey trilogy which we already knew starring tom holland i don't believe he has actually signed a deal yet so those plans remain unofficial for now that said i'm sure that more spidey adventures with holland are a top priority which is also counting on him as the anchor of its budding uncharted franchise as well um he says the priority for rothman and company so as far as like what what i think about that honestly of course tom holland i believe is going to sign on at some point it's just that he hasn't signed on right now in fact going off of what they said they said they don't believe he has actually signed a deal yet so he might have actually i guess signed a deal and they could be mistaken but as of now let's assume he hasn't signed that deal doesn't mean he won't sign a deal eventually he more than likely is going to sign a deal he'll be back for his spider-man trilogy in college and we'll get to see what other new adventures they're going to cook up for him now let's say he doesn't come back i know there are already people who have it in mind that if he doesn't come back the easiest thing to do would be do an amazing spider-man 3 or do uh toby mcguire spider-man 4 you know all of those projects both of those projects while i wouldn't mind seeing either one the focus right now i feel like is on tom holland's narrative is spider-man and the commitment of getting tom holland back so they can do a new trilogy with him not exploring things with toby mcguire's peter parker or andrew garfield's peter parker even though i hope we get some future projects with them in their own solo movies again that's not something that i think the chances are pretty high of happening right now as much as tom holland's chances of getting his own new college trilogy again are pretty high assuming he again according to uh the ankler hasn't yet signed that deal that doesn't mean he won't sign it at some point he will sign it when he's ready to sign it i guess and we will get spider-man 4 with him in college because we already know that there were talks about john watts i guess uh or no one of the sony executives spoke with a uh, deadline and revealed that he wants holland back and he wanted zendaya back and john watts now again i talked about this in my last video where john watts a lot of people would not want john watts back if there's a new trilogy set in college they want somebody else's visual style to be to be portrayed on screen or some people of, of course didn't even like his direction coming out of his other homecoming trilogy that we know we just had high school trilogy as we can now call it so i'm not against him returning as a director but i also would definitely prefer a different director to see like a different visual style for the college years maybe and as far as like of course the zendaya return zendaya returning doesn't mean that they are just going to completely erase that that spell that was done by dr strange at the end of spider-man no way home that fast of course i think it indicates that they are going to erase the spell at some point and i think a lot of us coming out of no way home already had that assumption that at some point we are going to have this spell erased and they are going to be reminded of who he was and they will all be together again by the end i would hope of the college trilogy this is not something i would do first movie back with him i would kind of explore this state that he's in explore his college years if he's struggling let us see him struggle if he's alone and a loner let us see him navigate as a loner and learn to open up with new people develop new bonds get a new girlfriend uh have new foes of course introducing the mix and explore all that with these core group of characters how zendaya's character get, gets factored into that i don't know especially if you're going to have her on the sidelines while he's just off in college thriving living his best life i'm not sure how you can factor her into the narrative i just feel like of course she to be sidelined mostly until we get to a point in the college trilogy where okay we're gonna erase the spell zendaya and everyone else will remember who he was I don't know why I keep calling this deal. <laughs> MJ and everyone else will remember who Peter Parker was and they'll remember Doctor Strange's spell. They'll confront him about that and then everything will be fine and dandy by the time the trilogy concludes and Tom Holland's chapter as Spider-Man is officially wrapped. 
that's what I hope they do. I don't I don't want them to just out of the gate, jump into the new trilogy, erase what was done with No Way Home and act like it didn't happen. Let's explore what he's been through. Let's explore his college life. Let's explore how he might have had certain consequences that he has to deal with from that spell he chose to do uh, because he wanted to protect his loved ones. Let's explore that a bit. Honestly, though, with the comments about them not thinking he signed a deal yet, I know a lot of people might find that alarming. I think that he will indeed sign a deal at some point. I don't think there's anything to necessarily be overly worried about. This is Tom Holland's time to shine as Spider-Man now. As much as I would love to see another Tobey Maguire movie specifically over Tom Holland, I can't deny that this is his time to shine. He is Spider-Man right now, and there's no doubt in my mind that he will eventually sign the dotted line if he hasn't already. Uh, if that report is in, again indeed true, that they don't believe he signed something yet. If he hasn't signed something, he will sign something eventually and he will be back either with John Watts back at the helm or some other new director. Uh, as far as like what you hope to see in the college trilogy, I would love to know all of those thoughts down in the comment section below. As far as what you want to see from Peter Parker, what villains you want to see introduced. If you want to see them actually, because I know I touched on this in another video, building to a finale for the college trilogy that brings in Toby and Andrews Peters again bringing in Miles Morales in some fashion and having him uh, participate in another wonderful celebration of Spider-Man but this time with all four Spider-Man I know people would love to see a movie like that you can toss in other multiple villains or just throw in like two this time around and not so many as we had in No Way Home even though No Way Home balanced all of that so well uh, I know some people would love to see the college trilogy in like that with Toby and Andrews Peter Parker's returning to help him again. This, of course, I would imagine be happening after they undo the spell, assuming we even go that far and that's the direction they take with this trilogy. But again, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you believe that Tom Holland will be back or do you not even want him to come back? If you don't want him to come back, what do you want to see from future Spider-Man movies? Because we know we're going to get more Spider-Man movies at some point. So if you don't want any more Tom Holland movies, let me know why and what you want to see from the Spider-Man character in the future down in the comment section below. Uh, and I guess just let me know what other villains you want to see if you are somebody who wants Tom Holland back. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.